Hey, it's day 35. You ready? Come on, let's go save the world. I'm back. Sorry to have misled you, we're not saving the world, we're just doing art and comics. Although you could argue that putting art into the world, putting stories into the world, even just this electronic back and forth via YouTube and commenting and Instagram, this could all be considered making the world a better place and thus saving it. That's a bit grandiose, that's a bit not true, uh, you know, maybe in, in, the, in the strictest, most literal sense, maybe yes, it is making the world a better place, which could then be considered saving the world, but really I'm just justifying a non sequitur beginning. It's gonna be a short day, well, it's, it's a long day, it's already after midnight. The day's been the same length as, you know, time is relative in our minds, but not in space. It's been the same amount of hours taken up in the continu- in the continu- in continuity as we perceive it anyway, whatever. The point is, it's gonna be a short video. Let's see what I did. What did I do? Well, I worked on my comic, The Hurry Four. That's the point of these 100 days, in case you didn't know. I feel like I'm talking a little fast, which is weird, because I haven't had a lot of caffeine today. But anyway, I'm working on my comic, issue number two. Issue one was done, this is my second run. Issue done was, one was done during my first run, and now I'm working on it. And I'm working on page four, The Roughs. The whole thing is written, the whole thing is thumbnail, I'm working on page four, The Roughs. It was going on so great yesterday. Today, a little bit better. Did about 45 minutes. Why am I talking so fast? I think because I'm standing at an awkward angle. Really, I should be standing like this. But I'm standing like this to fit, and so I'm trying to quick tell you everything I need to tell you. I'm gonna stop talking and show you what I did on the computer. That way I could sit down. Okay, here we are back in our old buddy Photoshop on my Cintiq. So here you see we have Boots and Koji. They're still having a chit chat. This is the same panel I had worked on yesterday, which actually I didn't show you guys, but it was in the thumbnail. Uh, I retooled it a little bit. Uh, it still needs a little bit of work. Uh, I put in this background, which I probably didn't need to because there's gonna be a lot of word balloons here, but I didn't want to completely skimp on the backgrounds because the next two panels, which I did today, or Koji and Boots, and again, just talking. So I didn't need to put a background, but I wanted to kind of establish it here. And I started this one, which did need a little bit of background to show the television at least, because he gestures to it. But that's as far as I got. I did maybe 45 minutes. I was catching up on videos and uh, doing other things uh, while I was doing it. I don't know why I said doing other things. I was catching up on videos. I watched Scott Sarklin, among others. His link's below. He's one of the hundreds. He's You know him. If you know me, you know him. And if you don't, find out. Um, but anyway, I also was catching up on Samurai Ox uh, yesterday and stuff. Oh, oh, I did this, uh, Samurai Ox is another one of the 100s another artist, another swell fellow. Um, and I did a quick sketch using that uh, chart pack, big fat designy caricature style marker, just on a piece of random printo paper that I did for funsies, but I'll throw it up here just to show you something different. Pots! He's Samurai Ox and he really rocks, yeah, go! And pans, pots and pans, there you go. Um, art today, I did none with the exception of the 30, 45 minutes, I guess, that I just showed you. Um, I'm leaving Thursday morning for uh, Power Morphicon, which is a four fun trip. Me and Q and our friend Alex are driving down. It's gonna be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then we're coming back Sunday. So four, it's a three day show, but we're driving all day Thursday, so we could be the first thing in the morning Friday. I almost gave you the finger accidentally. No, 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 you're for traffic. Anyway, when I was a kid, my mom used to uh, give people the finger in traffic, you know, then cut her off or whatever. But she would do it by putting her hand, like the windows would be down, and she'd put her hand on the roof like this, and then she'd give the finger. I'm doing it right now, but you can't see it. And that was her whole theory, that I'd be sitting over there as a little kid, and she'd be like, yeah, okay, you know, because she didn't want to be obscene or show her anger in front of her child, which is laudable, but I don't know at what point I realized it, but I remember, you know, saying to her at some point, like, Mom, why do you always put your hand on the roof when you give the finger? And I didn't realize she was trying to be slick and I was busting her. I thought that there was some extra added significance. Like, you give someone the finger, that's bad. You put it on the roof, that's a whole nother level. <laughs> You're getting roof finger, buddy. But she was sort of like, bah! you knew what I was doing? And then we both laughed and, you know, what are you gonna do? But that's not what I was talking about. I was just uh, setting up that we're going on this trip. And uh, so I need to, I needed to get some stuff done today. Uh, I was just going through my to-do list. Q came home and she's like, oh, what'd you do today? I'm like, nothing. But I did do stuff. Like all day I was knocking stuff off my to-do list, but I didn't leave the house, didn't work on any art, and I turn this off. Ah, oh, it's so much cooler. This generates a lot of heat. Um, but it was just stuff like, us uh, send an email to somebody I've been meaning to send an email to for a month, and I, I, oh, I canceled that show that I had the conflict with. And actually, the other conflict I thought I had, the other day I talked about having two conventions that I was supposed to table at, and I thought I had uh, two conflicts. I only had one, and it's solved. 
refund, everything's cool, so that all gets sorted. But again, that's something that I went back and forth a while, it took me, you know, I put up a post talking about how I'm gonna, uh, I have a bunch of blank covers, variant covers, sketch covers for Power Rangers issue number one, the more recent series, and I was saying, hey, I'll do sketches on these. I got them to do at shows or do something with the cell with my sketches, and I've had them for a while and never did anything with them, so I put up some posts finally on Facebook, and uh, that's, if you look at the thumbnail, that's what that's from. So if you like Power Rangers and you want to get a sketch on a sketch cover, see me. Um, but basically, it's $10 base to get the comic and get it shipped. That's just what the comic costs and what the shipping to you is going to cost. And then it's $10 and up, whether you want, if you, you know, a, a head sketch and pencil, $10, and it goes up from there. Um, and as I've talked before, I sort of have a formula for standardizing my sketches, but I leave, my, I say these are you know, most likely the price is, but if somebody comes to me and wants something crazy, I might go up or down or whatever, depending. Um, but I did things like that. I did, you know, the laundry and, you know, just, I did stuff all day. I was productive all day, but I didn't do art and I didn't leave the house. Uh, after Q came home, I did leave the house. I've been putting together, as I said, sort of a low key cosplay costume to wear at the show. Uh, not like a big suit of armor kind of, you know, Power Ranger type thing, but a, a what they call a civilian outfit where you look like the character before they transform. Uh, and I also chose uh, a Japanese character, like a Sentai character as opposed to a Power Ranger character. And to make it even less recognizable, it's one of the Sentai, there's a few Sentai, not many, uh, that have not come over to America. I mean, there was a few before Power Rangers, but there's been, I think, three that haven't come over, and I chose one that hasn't. So, uh, the, the, the downside is that most people won't recognize what character I'm supposed to be. The upside is most people won't recognize what character, no, uh, the few that do will probably appreciate it and think it's cool, but also I won't be getting stopped constantly for pictures, like if I was, you know, Tommy the Green Ranger or something. Um, but... I, yeah, I did that a little bit after work, I guess. Um, I'm gonna call it a day. I have more to say, but I, I got stuff to do tonight and I got stuff to do tomorrow and I should go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Anyway, this has been a weird one. I started off super fast and now I'm just go-going at you. I apologize. This is very much a video of like, I need to do a video today. I don't have anything really to say. Well, I guess I told you that story about my mom and the, the bird of the roof, the, the roof bird. Roof bird, that's what we'll call it. Y'all, I'm giving that guy some roof bird. You do it, dog. You give him that roof bird. It's gonna be a sparrow. It's gonna be a digital sparrow. Oh yeah, hawk it up, whatever. Good night, it's time, it's the end, it's day 35. And if today is day 35, well then you know what that means. We've got 65 days left! 65 days left! Ultraman Chiga, very excited for the day 65 sign off. But uh, that's not what I was talking about. I was talking about... Of course!